that's a nice little curve. Oh, this one too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep, bike's been running great today. Very excited to get this rip in with my main man, old man Armstrong. And yeah, man. We good? All right, let's do it. Yo, you know what's crazy? The last time that we did this up here was in the fall. Really, is that long ago? Yeah, it was the fall, right? Yeah, when we went up to Hunter. Dude, also, why, why am I wearing my winter jacket right now? Why is it this cold right now? Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you watched some of those videos from the little adventures that myself and old man Armstrong were getting into in the fall that, back in uh, 2019. The last time I hit these roads with him was, yeah, like October. The leaves were a changing. We were doing some basic fall activities. But yeah, it is good to see my main man, old man Armstrong. You know, in 2019, we laid down some serious miles together. And for the 2020 riding season, we haven't really gotten too much riding in together. You know, we would plan rides, but then something would happen on either of our end. I'm not gonna go into the gas story of his gas catastrophe. I'll save you. <laughs> I'll, I'll let him tell you that story. But yeah, shout out to you, Oma, for leading this. I do not feel like uh, following any sort of navigation right now. I kinda just wanna turn my brain off and get some miles in. Oh, and he is taking us through one of my favorite little hilly, twisty, sketchy roads. Good job, Oma. You're doing great so far. But yeah, so that's really the plan. Similar. My main man, the Fro Rider, you know. Both of our bikes have been sitting in the sh in shops for, you know, primarily the month of May and June. For me, it's not really that big of a deal because I have the 06, so, you know, I it does not stop me from riding if one of my bikes is in the shop, thus the purpose of having a second Dyna. But that's it simple mission for today. Meet up with our main man, the Fro Rider, and get in some solid miles. I know you guys missed old man Armstrong as much as I did, so that's cool. And yeah, you know what? I'll keep, I'll keep this segment of the video running until we hit the uh, legendary clearing. But I don't know, it's a pretty cloudy day, so I don't know what that's going to be looking like. Yeah, if you spend a lot of time riding in the mountains, then you're not going to be surprised by this. But for the rest of y'all watching this, how crazy is it that I'm wearing my winter jacket, my first MFG Vendetta with the liner in, with the hoodie underneath to ride right now in mid-July. Mid-July, and I'm wearing that many layers. That is the mountains for you. You know? And then like back home in Brooklyn right now, it's like 80 plus degrees with humidity. So New York is a crazy state. New York is a crazy state. Microclimates, man. up babies little baby deer ah yes the clearing the clearing that is nice
little light rain going on out here. Little light mountain precipitation. Hopefully that doesn't evolve into a downpour. I do not have rain gear and it is cold enough where that would not be fun to get wet right now. But yeah, as for those deer, you know, that's why I try not to rip too hard around roads like this because they'll get you, man. They'll get you. On average, when I ride through here, I usually have at least two to three deer encounters, like the one you just had. So, you really gotta be on your A-game on these roads. So if you find yourself out in these Catskill Mountain roads, just be aware, those deer are no joke. So, we're going to keep it moving, and I will pick it up when we get a little bit closer to connecting with the man of the hour, the Frill Rider. Stay tuned. Give me, give me a how you doing. Sometimes you gotta switch it up and let your friends ride your bike and switch up bikes. But there's very, very few people I would trust on my bike and Oma is definitely one of them and I'm sure it's the same for, uh, for him as well, vice versa. So yeah, I know Oma's been looking at the FXRT fairing for a very long time. So, he was very excited when I decided to make that upgrade, so I had to let him throw a leg over the bike and see how he likes it. I'll have to get a good picture with him on the bike, too. But yeah, it's been a minute since I've been on a street glide. Maybe I'll have to do a um, special street glide, five things I like about Bulma's street glide. That'd be, that would make for some good content, you know? I, I think you guys like it every now and then when I mix it up and put some bagger content on here, right? We could definitely make that happen. 